My name is Rob Gadosh. I'm a patrolman with Richfield Police Department. Since a kid, I've always wanted to be a cop, watch TV, go out, chase the bad guys, and, you know, be the hero. I got a, a pretty bad uh, uh, pain in my lower back, and I, and I knew it was just from years of wrestling with people, crashing cars, doing, you know, activities that most people don't do sitting at a desk. And then I started having a hard time walking, uh, and I could take so many steps, and I'd have to actually sit down, which I couldn't do on the job, because, uh, you know, you can't take a time out in the middle of a call and sit down. Cops are kind of ego guys usually, and we don't like to say we're hurt. You know, we're not supposed to be hurt in public's eye or whatnot. Uh, I'm Superman, you know. She, when I walked in and met Dr. Blades, she looked at me. You can tell a lot to her person's eyes. I told her that I couldn't walk, and that was bothering me. And then my biggest concern was I told her I didn't want to have back surgery or end up not being able to do this job or end up having to retire at 43. That wasn't in the deck. I wasn't going to play those cards yet. I saw a man that was in a situation where he could not find himself out. His quality of life was significantly changed and um, he was breaking down. Um, pain is a, um, it's, it's part of the human condition and the toughest of people reduce to just sadness and, and sometimes despair. Dr. Blaze was, she, she, you could tell she was a listener. She listened to the problem, she didn't just hear what you were saying, and once she listened to it, she assessed it, and we talked about it, and then we went and made a plan to fix it. And she said that when you wake up from surgery, you'll be out of pain, and I said, then that's what we need to do. Um, getting back on the road is, is a big step. You're coming from, uh, you know, where you're in a protected, safe environment of the station, basically, and you're getting your body armor back on, you're, you're making sure your weapons are prepped, and you get all that in your car, and you get back in your car, and you have to remember where all the streets are, and you gotta remember where everybody's address is, and then when you go to a call, you gotta remember, oh yeah, this guy's a fighter, or, or this lady, you know, is a very emotionally distraught, or whatever, and you have to remember all that stuff. Going into my shift, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm back on nights where I belong. I uh, enjoy working nights, and uh, I enjoy getting the bad guys. Most of the bad guys are out there at night. When I found out that he was back at work and he had you uh, guys go on a ride along, that that was really, really exciting um, because it was important to him. And, uh, and and so it's very gratifying to know that he's, he's back at, at work. I was driving to the hospital to get the operation. I looked at myself and I said, I wish I would have done this 10 years ago. I don't know what I'd do if I wouldn't be a cop.